Next thing we can do is go through and maybe add uh, another instrument like the structure. And I'm just going to keep it on the sine wave. So with the sine wave, what I can do is uh, I'm going to copy this down. I'm going to hold down Option. I'm going to click and drag, and it's going to make a copy of that. So that's what we call layering. When you're taking the same MIDI information and you copy it down, so it's essentially playing the same part, but by combining two different sounds together, the sum of those two sounds is great, greater than each individual part. So this is how you can create really complex, unique sounds very, very quickly. If you're not really good at synthesis, or uh, don't really understand how to manipulate the synthesizer, a great way of building custom patches that have a lot of character is by layering, using the same MIDI information and just combining them um, to create a bigger, fatter, thicker sound. After listening to this sequence, I think it might be kind of fun to maybe manipulate some of the audio. So one thing that we can do, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, we'll zoom in a little bit. And I'm also going to do a horizontal zoom just by using these uh, buttons on the bottom. We can see more of this. I just want to show you the clip gain. This is a new feature that, that I've added. If I look under View, Clip, you'll see Clip Gain and Clip Line. So with the line, you can grab the line and move it up. And, and there you can see as I'm moving it, it actually changes the gain. You can also do it with this fader here. is handy. But what's great about the clip gain too is I can use say the pencil tool and I can draw in breakpoints. So if I wanted certain sections to be louder or softer, you can uh, go through, I can grab this, I can make this a little bit louder, I can make that a little bit softer. As you can see, and this will repeat every time you copy the clip, which is really useful in terms of shaping sound. So if you have something that may fade out and you want it to fade back up, you could use volume automation, but this way it's actually embedded into this. And there's easy steps for converting volume automation into clip, clip gain or vice versa, taking from clip gain into